Hi guys, this is Sunil Kamath, the DevOps guy. Today I will be talking about Ansible inventory. So here are the topic I am going to discuss. Ansible user, host file, how can you create host file using YAML and groups and variables, behavioral inventory parameters which are very important, then default groups. So let me start with Ansible user. So this is the standard we follow in our organization. If I cat to etc hosts, so I have added these two as nodes for this Ansible. So there's one uh, Ubuntu node and then there is CentOS node. And what we do is on a master, you can call this as a master and uh, them as agents or nodes or minions, whichever you feel like. I call them, I usually call them minions because the master serves the minions. So that's how I see the things. So in Ansible master, I have created an Ansible user and on the nodes as well, I have created Ansible user and I have created a such key to them, passwordless key to them so that I can directly access, if I SSH to it, it directly goes to the Ansible user of the minions. Let me come back. So you know what I have done, right? So I have created uh, on master, I have created SSH key gen and I have uh, copied the pub of this in the authorized key of if I cat dot SSH authentication keys. So here I have copied the uh, keys. Cool. So th that's the standard practice we follow because it will be easier for us to manage. Let's say if you have hundreds of servers on all of them, all of them, if you can create Ansible users, which can have, which has a pseudo permissions. So master, masters Ansible users, contact Ansible user of the client, minions and does your work. Okay. So let me start with Ansible host file. In my previous video, I've installed Ansible and I showed you the default host file. So that is, that will be an etc Ansible hosts. Here, you can delete all these lines. So I'll go in the end. So I have added a test group and I've added two hosts. So these are the two hosts, host one and host two. These are the IP addresses. Ansible. These are Ansible parameters. I'll be talking about it later. And Ansible IP addresses. So if I run, let me run an Ansible command, ad hoc command. I'll be talking about as ad hoc commands in my next video. So Ansible all, all will, you know, target to all the host mentioned in the host file. And hyphen M is a module and I will ping module I will use. If I ping them, so it pings host one and host two. Cool. So you don't necessarily need to use etc host Ansible's default etc Ansible host file. You can create your own host file. Let me create my own. So sudo vi my host. You can name it anything. So let me add those two node Ubuntu node CentOS. Cool. So if I run the previous command or with hyphen I, you should give the path of the my host. So it's in my current directory now, my host. And if I ping them, it pings both the, it pings node CentOS and it also pings node Ubuntu. You can create same thing in YAML as well. So let me create a file sudo vi uh, yaml host dot yml. 
let me start with all because all is a uh, all and uh, uh, there's one more uh, ungrouped i'll be talking later in the default groups all hosts let me give the ip addresses here 192.168.1.1 153.251 also i'll give 192.168.175.108 and in my previous command instead of this i'll use yaml hosts yaml host and if i run this cool it run it it ran thing on both the things if i if i run it again for the first time it asked for that uh, authentication now it's like cool so you can do you can have your uh, host file the normal text file as well as you can have a yaml host file you can in fact you can have multiple inventory files as well that will come under dynamic inventory let's not focus on focus on it right now okay so so next let's talk about what is that groups and variables right so what are groups we can uh the file which i have created earlier my host right i my host we can group these two under we can group group these two as web servers let's say and let me run the command the earlier command here the path of will be my my host instead of all see all will run anyways it runs everything so instead of running all you can run host within a group only so if i run web servers it runs both the things so this is a concept of groups in ansible so uh we can also to make you understand it better let me have the first one as a web server and second one as uh db server let me let me have first one as web hyphen server and second one as db hyphen server and let me run this command all so all runs everything both the things then if you want to just run web server you can just give web it runs the first one only so if you want to run the second one db cool so this helps you organizing your minions or agents you can have multiple web servers you can use wild cards as well here so let me so let me tell you how you can use wild card uh, so if i go here you will have web server and db server right so you can actually uh, use db let's let's say if you want to select both you can do star hyphen server will give output for the both if you use just db db star it will give the output for db server only so you can play around with the host file cool 
so that's about groups you can also have variables inside it you can be like uh, let's say let me get in the file uh, my host file you can have after this you can have parameters like http underscore port equal to 80 and so you can use multiple variables as well but let's not focus on it these things will come when you uh, get into writing playbooks cool now let's not focus on them let's just focus on the stuff on the groups i believe you uh, you understood groups so you can even you can you can even do this vi my host let's say uh, node let's say you have multiple ubuntu servers web servers uh, let's say from 1 to 10 let's have you have 10 no, nodes you have mentioned we, you have named it as web uh, web dot one dot example dot com dot com and then you have named it as web dot two dot example dot com till web dot hundred dot example dot com instead of naming each and every one here you can just you can just use the regex one to ten cool so you it will it will add 1 to 10 web notes here so that's about groups and variables so next would be behavioral inventory parameters what are behavioral inventory parameters so ansible provides multiple parameters which you can use to change the behavior of the hosts let's say i have already created a file wherein uh, that is i believe host name let me go to host name underscore name just look at it it says local host ansible connection local db server node one ansible user ansible if I run this, let's see what happens. All. Uh -huh. Host. So it has run three of the so it has pinged it's similar to the earlier ones plus it has added localhost as well let's see what's in the file again so if you see the first one is local localhost that is the 127.0.0 so master itself so ansible connection is a behavioral inventory parameter ansible user is a behavioral inventory parameter ansible host is a behavioral inventory parameter so you can change name of the host you can give anything let me give it as sunil kamath i have to get in as a sudo so let me give my name sunil kamath and Ansible host is a parameter which appends the host name here. So it will be like node sent OS. So if I run the command, so it, it pings th all the three. So if you can see, second one it has named it as Sunil Kamath, but it has pinged the right node. So these are the parameters provided by behavioral inventory parameters by provided by uh, Ansible. So here Ansible user. So if you want, earlier I have said about the standard of having Ansible. You can have different user as well. You can, instead of Ansible, you can go with uh, uh, 
you can say you can go with uh, Ubuntu or any other users. Cool. And Ansible connection local. In this case, Ansible connection is SSH for DB servers and web servers. You can you can mention that as well SSH. There are multiple Ansible behavioral parameters. So you can if you go to uh, Ansible's official documentation, you can search for behavioral inventory parameter and you will get multiple parameters which you can use inside a inside the host file. Cool. So that's that's about the Ansible behavioral inventory parameter. So last thing about default groups. So Ansible has two default groups. One you've been you 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 have seen me using all the time all. So this this is all group. So if I use it, it will run commands on it will target all the hosts inside the host file. So it, it will target all three. One, two, three. And another one is ungrouped. Ungrouped. So if I use it, it will just run it will target the hosts which are not grouped. So by that what I mean is it will just target this local host because it is not under any group. Good. This will be helpful as well. So it, it all depends on how you are going to use these grouping and uh, ungrouping or you know all these parameters that you use behavioral parameters. It, it all depends on your own organizational structure. How big is the organizational structure? How how you are going to you know uh, target those? So it all depends on that. So today we discussed about there. Are, uh, so uh, today we discussed about Ansible standard user, host file, YAML file. You know how to write the same thing which we write in YAML, host file in YAML file. Then groups and variables behavioral inventory parameters we use few of them so there are multiple behavioral parameters for ssh keychain and a lot of other stuff and then there are two default groups that ansible provides cool and uh, uh, that's all for today there are there are a lot of other stuff as well like dynamic inventory which i have not discussed much right now because this is the beginning of a course when we discuss about uh, probably uh, creating playbooks then we can discuss more about inventory cool so that's it from me today uh, please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you